Welcome back to wagertalk.com. This is video best bets part two. We've got Preston and Brian's best bets. Preston, we'll start with you. And you've got a marquee matchup in the NFL. Mm -hmm. We're looking at the Jets in San Francisco. And I'll tell you what, uh, ugly loves ugly with, <laughs> with this one here. They both are coming off of uh, some stink bomb of games last week. What are you looking at? Yeah, the, the Niners game was weird because they were up 6-0 with like a few seconds in the first half, and then it looked like they got destroyed, but they actually dominated the game in the snow for the first, you know, 29 minutes. Uh, the Jets, it looks like they gave up, and I think Bryce Petty's a starter at quarterback. So, uh, good luck, New York Jets. <laughs> uh, I, it just, I, and I, I heard someone on radio referring to um, offset uh, Al Michaels, I believe is who it was, said he looked off offset and you know off air and, and said and just looked down at the Jets and said the team really yeah, they've given up on you know on their coach they've given mm -hmm. up on everything like they're just a bet against team I think the, you know from here on out and you, you saw last week that the Niners were steamed against the Bears and, mm -hmm. you know it's starting to move already you can get minus two and a half still minus three plus 100 or plus money is fine uh, but you know you might see this get through three eventually they're they're at home. They've already announced Kaepernick is still going to be the starter. He was struggling in the snow against the Bears, but you know, they put the trust in him. Chip's putting the trust in him again. They're, I think they're going to take care of business, get the win. The Jets are just a team I'm not going to ever be looking to, uh, to back. So in this case, kind of buying low on the 49ers against a quarterback named Bryce Petty playing for a team that just doesn't care anymore. So uh, the Niners, really, really nothing more to it. I think the numbers, you know, when you really break it down, three's probably about right. Um, but I, I'm kind of playing more of the situations in this type of game, which is a little you know, less often that, that I'll do something like that. So I, I do like the Niners. Cannot uh, disagree with what I saw on Monday night from the Jets. Uh, total lack of effort. And I mean, there was guys, there wasn't a guy within them seven yards in yeah. coverage. It, it was unbelievable. Brian, you're going to go to the NFL and you're looking at a NFL two team teaser again this week. And uh, what are you looking at? Yeah, I just wanted to point out now that San Francisco can afford to win since Chicago won last week. That's true, uh, actually. That's so, you know, in case they players don't care. Players want to win. But, uh, yeah, San Francisco was the one that cost me my teaser last week, and it's not good when you get a California team playing in the snow in a game that uh, basically it's a pick-em game in that, that range. But, yeah, I'm going to go back with a two-team teaser this week, and I'm going to take Detroit, six-team, two-team teaser, go down to minus two on Detroit, and New England at minus one and a half. And uh, Detroit's playing the Bears. Bears, San Francisco last week, they got that victory. But the Bears haven't won on the road all season long. Um, they haven't won the turnover battle in six straight games. It's tough to win when you lose a turnover battle, especially on the road. The only thing is the Bears have gone into Detroit and won the last three years. So we've got a Detroit team that's not going to take them for granted because it's not, they're just not going to look and say, these are the Bears, are not very good. They say, hey, this team came in here and won the last three years. So we get a motivated Lions team here. And then on the other side, we've got New England playing at home. Uh, New England at home is on a 56-7 and seven straight up run, and they're playing Baltimore, and their only road wins this year have been at Cleveland, at Jacksonville. Baltimore plays New England very well. I mean, uh, oh, Harbaugh's yeah. done very well against them, but I don't see them going into New England and winning this game straight up. So we just need New England to win under a field goal. We're laying less than a field goal, Detroit laying less than a field goal here. Uh, Two-team teaser, and it crosses the key numbers. All right, good stuff, guys. Uh, don't forget, uh, this week, if you want to save $10 at WagerTalk, use coupon code PennState10, and you'll save $10 on any package. You can use that coupon once this weekend at WagerTalk. That's going to wrap up our videos for this week. Uh, we have one special video uh, telling you about our bowl package, our bowl preview issue. Uh, stay tuned for that, and we'll be back next week here at WagerTalk.com.